I want you out of this pool and out of this house in seven minutes. You're still a goddamn police officer, for Christ's sake. You're going to get us all in deep shit. Well, I love when you talk dirty. Get your mad ass in this pool with me. Axel, get out of the goddamn pool! <laughs> I told you that was slippery! <laughs> Boogie Man Ben coming round the band is Boogie Man Ben is Boogie Man Ben. Philip Ray Beans and thanks so much for stopping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, this is a tough video to do, and people that follow my channel know that every once in a while I'll segue outside of the horror genre and talk about something else that I'm passionate about. And one of my favorite film franchises of all time is the Beverly Hills Cop franchise. And back in uh, late June, early July this year, I did uh, several videos on uh, the films in the franchise, my collectibles from the franchise, all leading up to the fourth film, which was Beverly Hills Cop Axel F, which debuted on July 3rd. Um, it was a 30 year, <laughs> it was a 30 year wait for this film to come out. And I was so excited for it. Um, you know, the, these movies mean so much to me. The first three were staples of my youth, especially the first two. And um, I was so happy with the way that this fourth film had turned out and the fact that they got pretty much everybody from the cast back, particularly the fact that uh, John Ashton, who played John Taggart in the first two films, but was not in Beverly Hills Cop 3, came back to play that iconic character. Well, unfortunately, to lit today, um, one of my heroes uh, left us. And uh, this, you know, in a time where we've lost some truly some greats, like James Earl Jones passed several weeks ago. We just lost Maggie Smith. But this one hurts me. Um, much like David Soul passing, which kicked off a, a really shitty year, um, John Ashton was a very, very important part of that Beverly Hills Cop franchise for me. And to prove that he was just an essential part of that franchise as much as Eddie Murphy was, watch Beverly Hills Cop 3. With him not being in it, it just isn't cohesive like those first two films or last film where he had a much bigger role. Um, I loved John Ashton. I'm very saddened to hear that he was suffering from cancer. He passed away at his home. Uh, he was 76 years old. And although he had done movies in recent years, there hadn't been a lot of work that he had been doing. I think the Beverly Hills Cop, the last Beverly Hills Cop film, was truly a gift to fans like me, to other fans of the franchise. And also, I think, was a gift to John, because if you watch those interviews with him and Eddie Murphy and Judge Reinhold, he is grinning ear to ear. He looks so happy. So happy it was all game if they were going to do a Beverly Hills Cop 5. And I said in my um, overview of the fourth film, I said, I don't think we're going to get a fifth film. And I and this kind of proves that we won't. Everybody wanted to see Rosewood, Taggart, and Foley back together. And we got that. It might not have been how everybody wanted it to go down, but I consider it uh, a perfect finale for that franchise. Um, it, it worked for me. It just did. And I was so happy to see... Um, John Ashton get the recognition that he so deserved. But it wasn't only just the Beverly Hills Cop films. I've seen John Ashton in so many great films over the years. And not only do I want to just pay tribute to his work in the, the Cop franchise, but also talk about his history in acting and some of the other great roles that he did in his career. Born in Springfield, Massachusetts, John Ashton attended Defiance College in Ohio and is a graduate of the University of Southern California School of Theater. He attended Enfield High School in Enfield, Connecticut. Ash Ashton had made numerous appearances in both television and feature films. He played Willie Joe Gar on several episodes of Dallas. He appeared in an episode of Columbo, Negative Reaction, and in episode five of Police Squad. Ashton starred as Detective John Sergeant John Taggart in the first two installments of the Beverly Hills Cup series alongside Eddie Murphy and Judge Reinhold. He appeared as Eric Stoltz's father in the 1987 John Hughes pen comedy drama, Some Kind of Wonderful, and worked with Hughes again in She's Having a Baby in 1988. In 1988, he co-starred in the action comedy Midnight Run as a rival bounty hunter to Robert De Niro's character. And in 1994, he also starred in the films Little Big League and Trapped in Paradise. Uh, he was in The Shooter and from 1995, Meet the Deedles in 1998. Instinct in 1999 appeared in a supporting role in the 2007 drama Gone Baby Gone, directed by Ben Affleck. And my, of course, my other favorite performance by uh, the late great actor was as Marvin in uh, Midnight Run. That movie is so brilliant. In fact, what's weird is just earlier this week, I was watching it. Um, I just threw it on, it was on uh, Netflix and I hadn't watched it in a long time. I do have it on DVD, um, but he is so funny in that movie. And, uh, the, the banter between him and Robert De Niro and uh, Joe Pantoliano and Charles Grodin. I mean, it's just, it's such a great movie. And uh, probably one of the, outside of Beverly Hills Cop films, it's, it will always be my other favorite performance by the actor. Um, 
yeah, this is just, I just wanted to make sure I paid tribute to him. Um, he was a huge part of my childhood. I loved that character. I loved just his delivery. I loved just the uh, the banter between him and Eddie Murphy in those Beverly Hills Cop films because he was always kind of the voice of reason. Eventually, Taggart would give in, but for the most part, he wanted to do everything by the book. And um, yeah, those I, those movies are a gift, and you know I'm so grateful I have them. I'm so grateful to have grown up when I did. This movie is absolutely fantastic. Um, I love Beverly Hills Cop. Actually, it is my favorite movie of the year. And uh, yeah, I just am so sad to hear about the actor's passing that he never got to play Tiger again in Beverly Hills Cop 5. So everybody ready for uh, Beverly Hills Cop 5? Waiting for the phone call. Uh, uh, we're uh, waiting for uh, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 got me a little bit. My friend Chris and I were talking and uh, one of the inspirations for my channel and he says, you know, you're getting older when your heroes start dying off. And uh, that couldn't be any more true <laughs> point to make. Um, yeah, he's one of my heroes and uh, I treasure um, all of the contributions he made to cinema and television and everything that he did. So that's going to be it for me. I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this very dramatic video after all the fun we've been having with Salem's Lot and things like that. But I couldn't go without paying tribute to this man that really meant a lot to my life. And uh, I'm going to end it on a fun note. So I hope everyone enjoys this, this little clip show of some of my favorite moments with Taggart and the Beverly Hills Cop franchise. And thanks so much again for watching. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace. We're more likely to believe an important local businessman than a foul-mouthed jerk from out of town. Foul-mouthed? Fuck you, man. Okay, so you watch your mouth. Again, I'll shoot you myself. Commander Lux, why didn't I know about this? Because Chief Lux doesn't have the guts to hear the truth from real cops. That's why we had to go undercover with Detective Foley to solve this case. That cuts it, Taggart. You're fired. Yeah? Kiss my ass. Kiss my. Goodbye, Mr. Foley. Hey, my fellow Fright Fiends, I just want to thank everyone for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to, please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I try to drop a video at least once or twice a week. Uh, the Horror Zone is a passion of mine, and it really makes me happy that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.